criteria for secretary, natural hair. Natural hair. You can't be no secretary with me with no weaves, perms, or straightening combs. You can't be no secretary of mine with no weaves, perms, straightening combs, or European hair color. You can't be no secretary of mine with weaves, perms, straightening combs, European hair color. Black man town hall meeting is coming up. And what's up with the Spider-Man? Can somebody help me understand this new spider cartoon? Spider-Man across the universe. Spider-Man across the universe. And he's bunny hopping in the damn trailer I saw on YouTube. How the hell are you going to have a black superhero cartoon for our children and he's lusting and thirsting over the skim milk in the damn trailer lord have mercy we must stay focused brothers we must stay focused look Welcome back to No Original Stories, where we show you that characters and stories are literally playing stories, where they're reenacting the sky and characters. And this is also encoded in nature as well, where characters are playing out aspects of nature. Most likely, more than likely, it'll be something in the sky. So I wanted to give some context on this rant that he Dr. Black. Umar had about the Black Spider-Man. He black. So the Black Spider-Man, I wanted to focus a little bit more on Miles Morales. As I've shown in previous, previous videos, the Spider-Man story is a retelling of the Peter Rabbit story and the Spider-Man characters themselves being the mascot are, of Marvel are playing bunnies. They're actual bunnies that's encoded with this mask and that character is also known for going through portals, time traveling, rabbit holes, so to say. Uh, so Miles is the moon based Spider-Man. Sometime around 2000, the early 2010s, they started to introduce a lot of moon based characters. You have the new mascot of Marvel in Kamala Khan and she's a moon based rabbit. But this has been going on with a lot of different companies and it kind of really accelerated like past 2015. And now if you look at most of the films that come out, people are complaining that they suck or they're corny or garbage. And it's because a lot of them are inverting the ideas they're moon based. Where you have the April O'Neil now being black where she's typically white. And April O'Neil is a character who encodes the sun. She's the spring. And the, and the Ninja Turtles all represent different positions of the sky where Leo, the lion, the sun, Raphael, the, the angle of the sun, uh, Michael Angelo or Michael Angel, angle, another, another way of saying like, you know, talking about a fallen angel or a position of the sun or aspect. And then you have Don. Don is always a word that means moon. And with that being said, just consider what happens to presidents who are associated with the moon. But we have Miles now, who's the... Uh, Moon-based Spider-Man, this is why he's always at dark. His powers are encoding the moon where he becomes invisible. You see this in a lot of rabbit characters where there's a good rabbit, bad rabbit, and one of them will have this kind of ability to become invisible or intangible, like Toby and Naruto. And it's the play that these characters are, uh, or this aspect is the moon-based aspect of that rabbit. And almost any rabbit hole story or rabbit hole character in some form or, or series, they will be intangible or become invisible. Um, depending on what the story is being told. But we have Miles, which is his name is encoding the idea of traveling. Miles, the distance that the sun and or moon travels, right? And then his last name is Morales, which is a play on morals. And morals, or the word more, is always associated with the moon. So if you have a character whose name is Moore, or people who were so-called the original people of our country, called the Moors, and they're dark, this, these concepts are associated with uh, the moon. But uh, then we have uh, also with Miles Morales, we also have that all the villains that he fought in the first one are associated with the moon. So in our first Miles video, I showed that he's a character who's playing a rabbit hole character like Peter Parker, like a lot of other characters like Mario Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. Rabbits are easy to know because their first and last name will have the first starting sound of an initial like Peter Parker or Miles Morales, Roger Rabbit, for example. But I also uh, showed a bunch of other things about Miles, but in this video, I just wanted to focus on the concept of him being the moon-based Spider-Man. So Peter Parker is the sun-based Spider-Man, and in the Enter the Spider-Verse film with, with Miles Morales, it was highlighted by him having blonde hair. A lot of characters with blonde hair in stories, like Naruto, uh, Cloud from uh, Final Fantasy, they're playing the sun. They're characters who are playing the sun. And Peter Parker, in that version of the film into the spider-verse 
was playing uh, the Sun-based character. This is why the actor who played him was named Chris. And if you haven't figured it out yet, Peter Parker is a retelling of St. Peter, uh, Peter Rabbit story as well, where all the actors who play ever play a Spider-Man are named after the disciples or uh, saints, where you have St. Peter, St. Thomas, uh, St. Andrew. Toby is a play on the rabbit, which is to be or not to be a direct name that's a play on spirituality. Uh, and most characters who are named Toby in stories go back and forth from being good to bad. They have to overcome themselves. So that's why that character was named that. But he was playing St. Peter. And then we have, uh, in this version, we have Chris, who died in the first one, the son, the Christ, that died in the first movie, the blonde hair, Peter Parker. And then Peter B., which is played by, uh, I think the guy's name is Nate. The actor's name is Nate. But he also plays Nick in, uh, I think, A Good New Girl, one of the shows. But... Uh, no, his name is actually Jake. Jake. The Jake is the actor. But yeah, that's a play on Jacob, St. Jacob. So we have all the actors being named after saints. <clears throat> and there may be somebody out there who's skeptical on the things that I'm saying right now. I know it's a lot to take in. But just consider that this movie is coming out on a full moon. Not by coincidence. It's designed like that to leverage the maximum ability of storytelling that's being done in this film. And we pay attention and look at Miles symbol on his chest is a little different from the other spider-mans where his is kind of like a moon with a spider in front of the moon so an interesting aspect i like about the miles character if you notice because he's the moon based character when that when there's tragedy that occurs to miles it occurs during the day and for for instance his uncle dies during the day in in the daylight but all the other spider-mans when tragedy occurs it occurs at night because the sun is being challenged at night or it's the weakest at night and you see that uh, the, the sun-based Spider-Man will try to pull the person that's dying into the light, you know, like get him to the hospital or something like that, the bright white lights. But in Miles' cases, he's uh, trying to pull his uncle into the darkness. He pulls him into the alleyway because it's a moon-based story. And if you look at when Miles is out, it's always at night. It's always in the winter. It, the character is heavily associated with the winter or snow. And... Um, there's even scenes where he just jumps up in the air and it turns to night and it goes over most people's head. And that's because the character is really an embodiment or a personification of the moon. He black. And he's bunny hopping in the damn trailer i saw on youtube how the hell are you gonna have a black superhero cartoon for our children and he's lusting and thirsting over the skim milk in the damn trailer he black <laughs>